It's Sunday morning, and that means it's time for another Hook of the Week. Welcome back to Black Bear Forge. Shall we take a look in our bucket of useful treasures and see if we can find something that might make a decent hook this week? We're certainly going to have some obscure stuff in here at some point. There's some round tubing, and there's some square tubing, there's some angle iron. I don't know if I'm ready to worry about those yet. Let's start with a rather long piece of quarter inch round bar today and see what we can do with that. Something like this would certainly make a very simple S hook, but I think maybe we can start with a hook on each end and do something just a little bit different that I don't think I've shown on this channel before. So let's go get our piece of material hot. As I usually do, I'm just going to draw this out to a taper. I think I'll make a round taper on this one. I'm actually going to make a double hook out of this. So the hooks are side by side. And I went to square, then I went octagon, now I'm going to round it up. I'm going to go ahead and put my usual little curl on here. And then I'll go to a simple bending jig here. And I'm just going to bend the hook. I want to do that on both ends. And I want the hook to end up on the same side. So it's not going to be an S hook, it'll be a C hook, I guess. I'm going to do the same thing with the other end. Square octagon round. I'm going to put my little curl on here. Bend the hook the same direction. So now I want these side by side. So I'm going to heat it up in the middle and I'm going to bend them until they come side by side. So I'm just going to eyeball center. And it looks like I'm off, so I'll move it and make some adjustments until it comes out fairly centered. And I want to bring this together, but I don't want to bring it together tight at the top. I want to be able to get something in there because we're going to twist this. So as you could call this a little anchor hook or something. I'm just going to clamp those in the, the vise. Clean up my top a little bit because it's a little crooked. Real easy with the tongs. Then I've got a piece of quarter inch round bar that I'm going to use as my twisting wrench. And just twist this up until it's what I want it to look like. And I want the, the eye to be in the same plane as the hooks right now because that's where a bolt will go to hang this. It's a really quick, simple style of hook. Now hooks that sit flat against the wall don't really do us much good. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to bend these till they're about 45 degrees here. That way they stick out from the wall. Just kind of fuss with it until everything looks symmetrical. That looks pretty good. And the last thing I want to do is I want to make sure that this ring is all flat against the wall side. So we'll go to the anvil for that. So to do that, I'll just do a half face blow right there. That should bring everything in line. Looks 
Looks like a little adjustment on that hook there. That looks better. That makes a very simple little double hook and it will take a quarter inch lag bolt to hang it from. I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop. Be safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.